Welcome back, you sexy, cute motherfuckers. Yes, sir. Oh, man. We are back again. again. Pumping out more and more content. We don't stop more here and more at Out content. of Pocket. We don't we do stop. Not, we do not stop here. We don't stop. I thought I, I told thought you I told that. You that. We don't stop. stop. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, another episode for y'all today. And we're getting into the Naruto series this time. Yes, sir. I think this is the second time we've actually touched on the Naruto series. Yeah, only the second time, which is wild because it's such a big staple. You would think we've touched on it more, but nope. Yes, the very legendary series. And we're going to get very specific. Finally. You know, usually a lot of our shit is review oriented, but we're getting right into a a fan kind of, uh, what do you call it? Fan debate. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, it, it's yeah, a fun debate it's not, to Yeah, because it's not a theory. Right. No, no. it's just us kind of talking about if something happened a little differently, you know? Right. So to let y'all know what that is, we're going to get into Itachi uh, telling Sasuke the truth. And at what point in the series, him telling Sasuke the truth would affect the series and how we right. each think it would affect the series. Or if it would. Or could've, if it should have, would have. Right. He could have did know? it then. Would he have or should he have? If he did, right. what would have happened? I don't know. Shit gets a little yeah. crazy, man. Yeah, you never know. Ultimately, on, no matter man. what we say, uh, they mo- they might still both end up on the ground, bleeding half to death. Yeah. And now then, we do so. we do have to start this conversation with two apologies. The first apology is I watched a uh, uh, fucking who's a Terrence Howard movie. I watched a Terrence Howard movie late last night, so you're gonna get a lot of mines today. I mine. I You're gonna mine, get a lot of can't those. be doing that, man. You're going to be getting yeah. a lot of those. I pre-apologize. I am super susceptible to somebody saying a word funny and repeating it. Say it's super just, susceptible five times fast. I cannot fucking do that <laughs> shit. Go fuck yourself. Die slow. My fo fo make sure all your kids don't grow. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I thought we were siblings. All right. And on my end, I'm fucking sick. So if you see me sneeze or if you see me <laughs> every three seconds, uh, yeah, I apologize. He- he said sick, but what he really meant to say was he's a bitch. I knew you were going to say little that. little bitch boy. How did I know you were going to say that? Just a little bitch boy. By the way, I've been working on a stamp so I can start mm. stamping when I put a, put a stamp on the screen whenever I call someone a little bitch boy because I okay, tend to do that dude. a lot. I call people bitches more than you. I call them little bitch boys. Okay. Fair enough. You do distinctly say it differently. Yeah, I do. I say little bitch boy every time. Right. And if I say bitch, I correct that with little bitch boy. Right. Yeah. So right <laughs> right into the premise of what we're getting into. We're going to try to hit different stages of when yeah. Itachi could could uh, tell Sasuke the truth. Do you want to start us off? I mean, well, the first the first moment we get is just at the beginning, not necessarily the beginning of the show, but at the beginning of that storyline. Right. Where right. he actually does it, where he well, actually where he's kills told him. to do it. Right. Yeah. And so, so it's it- like. Do you tell him before? Do you tell him after? Do you tell him during? Do you not tell him? Right. Like, like if so, we can, go, we'll go over the before first. But like, right. what, do you think he does? Do you think he tells him before? Like, right? You, I what what I happens think, if he does? Right. I think that Itachi, if we if we do figuratively hypothetically say he tells Sasuke right after the meeting. So let's say Hiruzen right. and Donzo are like, "Hey, you got to do this. You got to kill your clan, nigga. You got to do what you got to do." Or you got to go right. down with him. Uh, and let's say he comes to that decision. From right then and there, he has to tell him. Yeah. Because Shout out to Donzo, lingers, by the way. He's an underrated bad guy in any series. Very underrated yeah. bad guy. That motherfucker's evil. But continue. Right. Carry yeah. on, good sir. They should have killed that nigga instead of they They should have killed him real quick. <laughs> and I still <laughs> think Itachi should have been like, you want me to do what? <laughs> yeah, we're nigga. gonna change. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we're the first segment, and we're gonna change the video to Don. We should kill Don. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna Stay label the Uchiha. fucking. We're gonna label the episode. We should have never gave Shane anything with free range. <laughs> <laughs> we're already on to something different. We're nice. already talking about Donzo. We're already talking about him. It's what I nice. do. Thank you. It's Thank what you I got to do. Hashira. Appreciate yeah. that. I got you, you. but I'm just saying he's an evil nigga. I just thought the world shouldn't understand that he doesn't get his due. Like, that (laughs) was a bad motherfucker. He was, and he's the reason that Chiha are dead. Yeah, I mean, thank you for that. If if Itachi kills him there, 
and we skip this whole debate we're going to have and Itachi kills him there. There's no there's no issues. There's no Sasuke. There's no there's no Naruto movies, stories, show. You know what I mean? Like true. I think Very I just true. wrapped I just wrapped this episode up in what? All 5 right, minutes? Let's call it. Yeah. <laughs> let's call it. <laughs> let's dude. call it. <laughs> We no solved need, the Naruto no problem. No need to tell him the truth. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. in all seriousness, do you know how old Itachi is compared? Do you know the age difference? I forgot compared to look to it Compared to Sasuke? Up. Yeah. I think it's about... Uh, it's like four or five I years, about right? about five years, four years. Somewhere yeah, cause, around there. Because me and you are, what, two, two and a half years right. apart? Right, and he was like, what? Uh, Sasuke was like seven when that shit went down, and Itachi was like 13. Yeah, which is fucking wild. To you know think I mean? about, 13, but it's like when I when I 14. think about it, because I think about you being two and a half years, two to two and a half years uh, younger than me, mm-hmm. and I'm like, man, when you look at their dynamic, like there was so much stuff I didn't tell you when you were a kid, mm-hmm. just because that two and a half year difference is so different. Right. You know what I mean? Like, so I think at a, at a younger age, it's yeah, at a, at than especially than at a adults. younger age, yeah, right, 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 right. yeah. So, Good clarification. Thank you, right. Blackie Chan. Yeah, so, <laughs> but. He can't tell him, can he? He's too young. He can't no, handle that. And I don't think you can handle that at, at Sasuke's age. So the only route I see him taking is not directly after that meeting, right? Haruzen tells mm-hmm. him, hey, you got to do what you got to do. He comes to that decision. If he goes and tells him then and there, Sasuke's telling somebody. I mean, he's fucking that seven nigga years old. That nigga is snitching. He's snitching. For sure. He's going to be like, dad, Itachi just told me he's got to kill everybody. Yeah, you know it's like I mean? the perfect recipe for a snitch. You got an older brother who's, your fu- who's a fucking prodigy who you're jealous of because you can't keep up with him. Mm -hmm. And then you got a dad who doesn't accept you. Mm -hmm. And so like, he doesn't, he doesn't accept him. So it's like, that's the perfect recipe for, Hey, guess what? My older brother's a piece of shit. You should love me more. Like that's the perfect scenario for. However, (laughs) Itachi was such a prodigy that dad might be like, Oh, we still kind of need this nigga to kill. (laughs) (laughs) That's an interesting, that's an interesting spin on it. Could Sasuke be lying? Or, or, or or the dad hears it. Yeah. Right. Or the dad hears it and he just goes, I guess we're all dead then. (laughs) Uh, There ain't nothing we can do with that shit. Cause that nigga (laughs) fuck us all up. (laughs) (laughs) Everybody's ass. Oh my God. No. Imagine living in a world like that. Yeah. I'd be like, you sure? You sure, man? You heard that? You heard that shit? You heard Dude, him say it. It's like <laughs> he that, said it uh, to you. Sasuke, I don't know if you knew this, but at your age, your brother was fighting in wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. He was. <laughs> Motherfucker yeah. was out wars wilding and shit. Wild. <laughs> Wild. But I think we both agree here. You can't tell Sasuke at that age before it happens. No. Right? And he's tattling for sure. The only logistically way you could do it is literally like right before you initiate it to where he can't tell anybody. But even then, it would be such a mind fuck for him that he wouldn't be able to comprehend it. Do you think right? Do you, you think he might pull like a – or, or he could pull a Sakura. And by that, I mean, you know, when, when, when Sasuke was leaving and, so- and, he, and uh, Sakura tried to stop him and he mm-hmm. s- snapped that nigga r- neck real quick. Uh-huh. He just went, ha-cha, and put her to sleep after he said he was leaving. He could have yeah. done something like that where he's like, hey, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. This is the way like I'm going to do it. Just like yeah. what Vegeta did with, uh, with his son in the Boo Saga. Yeah. Chopped him in the neck. Yeah. And he's like, this is what I'm going to do. But guess what? Ka-ka! Go to right. sleep. When you wake or, up, everybody's going to be dead, little nigga. Right. He can end Sasuke at that age. If you infinite Tsukiyomi him right before the coup or right before his coup, <laughs> not the Chia's right. coup, uh, Tachi shit, uh, and he'll pass out. There's no way he could withstand that level of Genjutsu without passing out right after because right. Kakashi was fucking in a hospital for, for months because of that. Or I don't know about months, right. but and I mean, a long I mean, time. They had to know something was coming anyways because at this point, they already suspected him and were weary of uh, Itachi, of Itachi. Because, because they thought they were like, you killed your best friend. And you killed well, your he best was missing like, Or his best friend went missing and everybody right. thought he killed him. And now he's uh, missing meetings and doing other shit. Like, yeah. they were on the trail. They were like, yo, this nigga is wild. Who's going right. to say something? <laughs> not it. One, now, two, three, not uh, it. <laughs> again, they did set it up because of what Itachi wanted to where Sasuke wasn't necessarily touched. And it wasn't necessarily right. in the room when it happened. Right. So, I mean, that would be the only thing. But again, me and you were just like, nah, you couldn't tell somebody that young. He wouldn't understand. No, you can't. And he'd still probably hate him and still probably not believe him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, 
he wouldn't believe him. I, ultimately, it happens the next day, right, or whatever, in the scenario we're talking about, where it, it would essentially happen within a few couple of days. So even if he doesn't believe him, it's going to happen real quick. Right. No, but that's the point, right? Is if you tell him, you, you, our idea idea here is to say that Itachi tells him and he actually believes him, right? Oh, if gotcha. He yeah, him, yeah, yeah. Him, okay. Then it's the same route. Yeah. It's just showcase, everything's right? happening. You're right. You're right. That was that was um, stupid. I apologize. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah, no, but yeah, no. So that's I a fucking apologize. <laughs> hey, you stop talking. The, Let me apologize. <laughs> that's right? a big I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let it out. It's not okay. Let I am. Out. I just. You know, it's been a rough week. Get it out. I get it. And, you know, I, I just wanted you. to. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why you assume she left, man? <laughs> Why couldn't I have been the one to leave or kick her out? Oh, you're also, the one crying. <laughs> also, just you're so you guys crying. are aware in the Context audience. Clues. Yeah, just so you guys are aware of the audience. I live at home alone. There was never. <laughs> this whole person is made up. Uh, yeah, so don't <laughs> go no, assuming he has a wife or, uh, you know. I do not. And it is a personal choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a personal choice. Yeah. Not that you love anime or anything. It's a personal yeah, choice. No, much like some people <laughs> choose not to have kids, I chose not to have a woman or and or men, whatever you're into, in my life. Well, then how'd you have kids? Uh, no one asked you. Ask <laughs> no, go fuck yourself. <laughs> go fuck yourself, yeah? Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> how wild right. would it be if you were like, what, how do you have kids? And I was like, not for long. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. So on hey, to the next point. Hey, we're talking about you Itachi. Motherfucker. We're not we're not talking about you. We're talking Aww. about Itachi. It's my so, favorite category though. No shot in hell he's telling Sasuke. No, no the shot. The night in hell. of, you know, Sasuke walks in. Brother, what are you doing? Yeah. He's like, hey yo. Uh, <laughs> hey, um, so hey, this yo. is all part of my plan. I'm doing this so that you can protect the hidden leaf because they're gonna have a, a coop against the hidden leaf, and I don't want them to do that. But I love you. Yeah. Also, that's something we didn't explore either. the The whole situation itself is pretty complicated. Right. So to be and, able to explain all that. Right, and then imagine like he's doing it the night before, and he's getting ready to go on a mission. So he's got to go through it real quick. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Hey, dude. Guess what? Sorry, I gotta go real quick. I gotta go like. I got to be out of here in like five fucking minutes, dude. All right. So right. Sasuke, here's the deal. I'm about to go kill everybody you know and love. I'm about to kill everybody I know and love to save you. All right. What I need you to do is nothing. I need you to stay here and try and rebuild the, the fucking Uchiha clan on your own. Uh, and don't mm -hmm. ask any more questions. All right. I got to go. Hey, but that doesn't make any sense. Why would you kill everybody? Who's, why are you doing this? I just told you I'm going to do it. It doesn't matter why. I need you fucking by age 12. All right. I need you <laughs> fucking and repopulate. Whoa. Whoa. I yeah, mean, that's, that's probably not what uncommon he in anime. So no, no, he would have been fucking his cousin. Yeah, in anime. Yeah, but like it's just it's just crazy to think about how complex that issue is, and, and even yeah, trying to explain. It, he's just too young. He's, he's too young. I think we've. I think everybody can agree on that. Right. You know, Pretty I think obvious. that would be universal. Where it's yeah. just he's too young. Because even so, then, afterwards too. Right. So you get to past that level which is more right. towards the tuning exams when he could have had the opportunity to tell him so itachi pulls into the to the village says what's yeah. up to ramen man he says hey yo hey, yeah ramen man yep he he fucking dipped out and if you guys haven't watched our video on that uh blackie chan here made up an entire story make it up. to prove his point about fucking itachi running into the ramen guy while As he's he walking was through the hidden leaf. To prove more. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, Kazane. the ramen guy's super intelligent. He's like, dude, walk past and made up a whole 10 minute story on it. And we'll dude, put the we'll put the you, link you below. You never heard the ramen wild. man. You never heard the ramen man hitting up a touch. No, I don't think he did. I don't think right, I think well, he made that you up. You need to man. go watch those fillers again. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> you need to watch those fillers. Oh, that's a filler episode. It's a whole yeah. 20, 22 minute episode. Right. Is Itachi so, leaving after murdering and wanting some ramen? Because <laughs> yes. murder makes him hungry. <laughs> yes, it does. It's very hungry. All right. I don't know if you've ever killed anybody, but uh You know, you're, I you're can't say afterwards. I have. You sure? You don't want to tell the people if you have or haven't? You know, if I had, I feel like they would have figured uh, it out by now. <laughs> yeah, you're not very good at Yeah, it's away just the this. murder in my eyes, you know? <laughs> you yeah. can't you can do what you want, but you can't get rid of that. Right. Can't get right. rid of that murder in your eyes. But, but it was the after the tuning exams. Mother, motherfucker. Yeah. That's what, that, I yeah. mean, like, that's around the tuning exams. Around that, that time. But right. it was after. You're right. Yeah. Um, and 
So uh, Sasuke pulls up on him because he's pissed. He's like, I finally found you. I, I have the shot and gun. I have the Chidori. Let's get this shit popping. That segment is the only segment past him being a kid and him doing that where we think it would be possible. What do you think? Do you think he would tell him? And if, if, if think... he did, what would happen? So it's funny because, uh, so you guys know, like, as we mention every now and again, we don't talk about exactly what we're talking about. We just kind of touch, we kind of, in our pre-meetings, we'll the just go points. over the main Bing. points and make sure each person has something to say about it. Mm-hmm. And this one, whereas after we're like, all right, after the tuning exams, we're going to discuss that opportunity. Mm-hmm. All I put down was fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. That's literally what I wrote on the, on the fucking note. I was like, fucking stupid. Because I think right. that whole situation is fucking stupid. This man, Itachi, is a goddamn prodigy, mm-hmm. right? He's a goddamn prodigy. This motherfucker's been chilling with the Akatsi, the strongest fucking niggas out there. Akatsi. <laughs> Akatsuki. 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 Yeah, there we go. Akatsuki. Yeah. 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 The strongest niggas out there right now, or some, right. some of the strongest niggas out there. To be right? roaming the realm, around in that and, world. And Sasuke at age, what, 13? after losing to Gara, was like, I'm going to go kill that nigga now. And left the leaf to go fucking, uh, to go meet up with uh, Naruto and Jiraiya to go try and fight Itachi. Like, right. that's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Like, right. if you were really about that revenge, you would have waited, waited until you thought you were ready. Right. But with that being said, and it's me acknowledging funny. how let's, fucking let's stupid, real. it's fucking stupid. That was hilarious. It's fucking like Itachi didn't even acknowledge him. Every, he, I think remember, he, he ignored we him. We saw in the that fight. as kids. We saw that part as kids. Mm-hmm. I didn't think he had a chance. <laughs> no, <laughs> and I didn't even understand the gravity of the show yet, <laughs> right? Or the situation. And I was, <laughs> yeah, I just knew Itachi was a badass motherfucker, and I knew Sasuke just learned how to use a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, he just learned. Right. Literally just learned the shotgun. <laughs> Has nothing else other than he just learned that. And it's fucking wild. But I don't think, like, if he tells him there. I there think we go. Now we're getting to it. Yeah. So if he, <laughs> if he tells him there, you know, I think that uh, something's changed. Like, do I don't. changes? I don't know if he goes with the Rochimaru. Do you think he believes him? That's Ooh. my first thing. Do you yeah. think he actually would believe Itachi? Like, let's say he, he shows up, right? And he's like, fuck you, Itachi. And Itachi puts him in Tsukuyomi yeah. and explains everything because you have time. Right, right, um, right, and, right. And he could change the world. So he can, like, manipulate the, the realm. The, and be the, like, hey, the surrounding. Is, and and actually visibly show him the story. Him, hey, th- kind of like how, what Toby did. Exactly. But Toby didn't put him in a genjutsu, I don't think. Did he? I thought he showed him by, put, by doing okay. the genjutsu. Yeah, I might be sh- wrong. I might I be wrong. Know. But I don't, I don't think he, that. like, trapped him in, in the shotgun. I think our uh, Mangekyo shotgun. Mm-hmm. I think he just, uh, I think he in showed him. But, but I, that's the okay. small detail we don't need to get hung up on. Right. Um, because I'll, I'll go. I yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll go on a run. I'll go on a run though. Right. So do you think um, he believes him? I I if he don't puts think him he in does. A I don't think he does. He's just too uh, much anger. Too much anger, and he's still too young. Okay. Uh, it's kind of too the young. same thing as the first problem. Right. I think he's got all this anger, and it's been building up for so many years, and he hasn't had his parents to guide him or talk to him about shit and stuff like that. He's for the most part you know, kind of been on that path. And so he's all this anger and stuff built up. And I think he's too young to process right? what actually is going on and, and like process how, how real that possibility was. Right. That his brother did that to save him. I think it's possible. So if, if in, in the scale of like percentage points, I think you got, you're throwing a 50, 50 chance there. Yeah. Um, I think 0% obviously when Sasuke was even younger than that, but I think this is where you get to the 50, 50 realm where if Itachi does a good enough job explaining it in the Tsukuyomi, you have a lingering chance. So then in there, of course, he's not going to believe it. Right, but, but when but he leaves, over as he's thinking about it. And... Thinking about it, thinking about it. The, that would actually be a Man really made. good, uh, that would actually be a really good side arc of him, like, right. trying to figure out thinking if he's telling it. the truth or not. So, yeah. like, him doing an investigation, like, hearing it, and then him going back to the Chia clan hideout. And checking now, out some things, or you know what I mean, real quick. Like, yeah, that'd be I a really cool side. I, I don't think it changes his lust for wanting to get enough power to still face him. I still think he wants to get onto his level in regards to power. 
but okay. I think that it the lead up to their meeting is way different. Like you mentioned, yeah. like the arcs following that would be right. way different. I still think if that's the case, so if he gets Not told way. there, yeah, if but. he gets told there, I don't. I agree with you on the power and all that stuff. His his him wanting to be on the same level as Itachi, him idolizing him, him. Right. I think I think that in his change. head. Yeah, I think in his head, it would now, even if he finds out that it's true, right? So let's say he doesn't believe him right away. goes back, does, we do a side arc where he figures out everything is true. Yeah. I think even if he finds out it's true, he's going to want to face his brother again, and he's going to have his own questions, and he wants right. to face him as an equal. So he's right. going to train and do all that stuff still. So I agree with you on that. But in with case that, it's wrong, right? Like in right. case he lied to him again. Yeah, like I'm sure he does an investigation. If he tells him then, he does his mm -hmm. own investigation thinks he's telling the truth but i'm sure he yeah. has his own questions that's a good one that you brought that up because if he does start investigating it himself and think that there is a chance that itachi's telling the truth he's going straight to haruzen he's going straight to donzo he's going straight right. to to those guys who he's already told him hey this is what happened this is the situation right this is why i made the decision i made this is what i wanted for you blah 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 he's going to them niggas and saying what's good right you right know? Um, it's similar so, to what he and did. So he's still gonna want the power. Right. I think the big thing that changes is he doesn't go to Orochimaru because he went to Orochimaru because all he wanted was power and he wanted to get there as quick and as fast as humanly possible. And I think that was a big part. Is he was like, Hey, Orochimaru, I've seen the power of the curse mark when it's unleashed, I've seen all this shit, and he's fucking crazy powerful. Like, I can get as strong as I can with this motherfucker. And he didn't care about why. I think the different, the biggest difference that if he gets told here that changes is mm -hmm. the way he's willing to go about getting that power. Right. I think now, because that hatred over time is going to dampen a little bit, I think now he's going to want to get the power in a better, cleaner way. You know, working with fucking, uh, goddamn <laughs> fucking Kakashi Sensei. Kakashi Sensei. <laughs> Kakashi Sensei. You do a really good fucking my guy impression. But only yeah, saying his only name. for Kakashi. Oh, yeah, only for saying his name. You yeah. can't do it anywhere else, but it's no. solid. But no, so I think genuinely that that's the biggest change in that storyline if he gets told. I think yeah. that he he now doesn't go to Orochimaru and he tries to gain power the right way over well, time. And now, and now you get a dope arc. I think you get a doper yeah. arc where he's investigating it and there's tension, right? Because do you right. think Haruzen and Donzo tell him the truth? I mean, one of the agreements that Itachi made with Haruzen and Donzo is, yeah, we'll let you keep Sasuke alive, but right. you can't tell him the truth. Right. So how does he investigate it? Does he go straight forward? Because I'm sure Itachi's smart enough to know, hey, I told them I wouldn't tell you. Right. So like, you got to be smart go about this shit. Yeah. Or else they're going to end up killing you. Yeah, like, and maybe you already know Donzo is gonna kill him. And in that, in this scenario, maybe he's thinking, maybe he's thinking that after fighting him, now he's at the age where he's strong enough to hear the truth and train hard enough to do something about it. You know what I mean? Right. Because he's got to think. If I'm, if his whole so goal, now, if Itachi's whole goal is putting, let me finish this point real quick. Yeah, you're good. If if Itachi's whole goal is was protecting Sasuke, then by telling him here, he put Sasuke in danger because he. He's not with Sasuke. He can't protect him, and he doesn't fully know what a Sasuke is going to do, right? Mm -hmm. So by telling him this, this goes against him doing it in the first place, which is to protect him. This, right. act, this truth puts him in harm's way, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so if that's the case, you would think that in that fight, he's like, hey, you may not be strong enough just yet, but I think you're old enough and responsible enough and going to get strong enough to where you hear this, you're not going to do anything stupid, and you'll get strong enough to eventually uh, fucking look at Donzo in the face and be like, what's up, nigga? I know yeah, what you did. Right. No, I think you hit that spot on because it does. It shifts it to, yeah, he still wants to be Itachi's equal just in case, but he also wants to be Haruzen and Donzo's equal because he's going to have to know that if I confront these niggas and they catch on to it, or right. depending on how he confronts it, depending on how he decides to investigate it, if they catch on to him, he's going to have to take out one or the other, you know? Yep. Uh, I mean, there's a potential that Haruzen will understand and be like, fuck it. You know, as long as you don't have any, right. you know, remorse against the hidden leaf, we'll let you live. Whereas yeah, you yeah. already know Donzo is about that action. So right. Don yeah, Donzo is like, oh, so. this agreement's over. All right. I'm going to Toby Rama your ass and we're taking you out like Izuna. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what it ultimately comes down to. But so like we have essentially four scenarios we're going to discuss here. And mm-hmm. this one, I think, was would have been the second best opportunity second to best. tell him. Yeah, I agree. but I think but I think this one has the biggest upside. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Like, as far as what it could have potentially oh, changed. Oh, yes. Like, yes, the best case scenario for him to find out. If everything goes according to plan in regards to what we think Itachi... It, right. Like, him believing Itachi right. and him, like, ultimately figuring shit out, you might not get a dead Itachi. Like, yeah, he's got that right. illness, which hasn't been fully explained. Yeah. But there's a chance that if they take out Donzo together... And then talk to Haruza and like, hey, let's just fucking solve this shit. Let's rebuild right. the Ichiha. Let's do this the right way. Take out Donzo. Itachi will have fucking medical attention. He's not yep. going to end up fucking yep. dying. Yep, because he's back. He's back in right. the village. Like, and shit. that would be dope. Imagine yeah, and having that's why Itachi live. Right, right. And that's why I said this one is the second best opportunity. But it's got the biggest upside. If biggest it, upside. If because it all factors in when he tells him he's definitely we agree that he's definitely not going to believe him right out of the gate no so now you have a 50 50 chance is he going to just ignore this and be like fuck this liar he's killed my family now he's I fucking saw lying about that i shit. saw it my own right eyes. i saw it i saw it. <laughs> i saw you you grabbed her titties i saw it <laughs> <laughs> nice good reference uh but uh but yeah it's like is he going to it's a 50 50 chance is he gonna do that is he going to not believe him and be like, fuck you, is the hatred going to win? Or is his curiosity and his love for his brother going to take over and win? And, but it has the biggest upside. And, and what an amazing arc that would have been. And you know write. which arc that would replace, too? That would replace the Sasuke retrieval arc. Correct. So instead of uh, Sasuke and Naruto fighting on top of the hospital, which led him to Orochimaru, which uh-huh. led to the Sasuke retrieval arc. Now yeah. we get now we get fucking Naruto seeing him in the hospital and potentially instead of them fighting because of the power, now he's like, hey, I gotta do some shit on my own. I gotta figure out if my brother was telling the truth or not. Right. And I'm not too I'm not too totally sold on him not going to Orochimaru. I'm not too totally sold on that because when That's you get fair. that big he of still, a boost from that curse mark, he still right. has that and he lust. still and he still wants to he still wants the power. He still wants Itachi, and now he needs the power to defeat Donzo and stuff like that. So it there is still a there is still a chance he ends up with Orochimaru. Right. I personally don't think it goes that way, but I will acknowledge that there's a good chance that he does still end up but going to Orochimaru. There's also a good chance that. Sasuke tells Naruto, hey, I'm going to Orochimaru for this purpose only because of what Itachi told me. So it's not that I hate the Hidden Leaf. It's not. It's just that I'm going there for information. I'm going there to train. I'll be back. You know, I don't hate the Hidden Leaf. I don't hate you. Do you think they fight then? Because he might still be like, that's not the way to go because Naruto's Naruto. Yeah. He still might be like, that's the way to go. And then they they still still have to fight. Well, if you want to leave beat my ass and then they still have sasuke beat his ass right and then um you know but it's not as so it's just that's crazy because it could just as easily change nothing other than who he's after and the mind and the whole during each right yeah because it might not really change too much in the storyline it would only change instead of him trying to kill his brother it's now turns into him wanting to trying to kill donzo And he could still, and he could still potentially hate the Leaf for doing that because Donzo is part of the Leaf. But you still got Itachi there, right? Uh, yeah, Itachi still alive. Because by the time, right. by the time he fought Donzo, he killed Itachi. Right, 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 right. So, so I, I, you could team up with Itachi at that point. Man, so this could change everything. And this could change, change a lot. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, well, it could change, but <laughs> it, it, it would, really it would change always change something, right? right but it would dynamic. change dynamic and then timing, right? Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't fucking fully think this one out yet but yeah me that, neither. this one I actually mean, this might could, be my new favorite i figured right and i figured this would happen where we would just as we talk about it right um, kind of dissect what possibilities could happen yeah um, which is what makes this topic so fun and it'll be a topic that'll be discussed for fucking till anime's done being anime, right which will never happen but anyway um uh, on to the next now this one we were saying or are you all finished on that one yeah i'm all good else? there i'm all good right. there i just want to add that that one might have worked its way into being my favorite option <laughs> yeah as we talked it about have, it yeah more. as we talked about it i was like you know what this might be the best option 
because well, the upside's just so and, high. I know, right? And I have such a soft spot. I told you, I tell you this all the time. My favorite all time Naruto character is Itachi. Right. So yeah. The fact that anything the upside, that gives it the possibility of him being alive, alive uh, 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 is like yeah, that's dope as shit. I mean, it's dope yeah, as shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's the next scenario? The next uh, scenario is Sasuke doesn't get told that at all at that point in time. Goes to see right. Orochimaru and f- finally faces Itachi in that Orochimaru realm or whatever the case where he's sitting right. on the throne. Now, there, we want to talk about three dynamics within this. So whether or not he tells him before, during, or after. And obviously, we'll start with before. So for me, before, I think it's... Damn. I, I, I don't really have a good grasp on it because if he tells him before, I think he has to put him in Sukuyomi first again. Because if he's trying to talk to him... Right. I don't think he. I don't think Sasuke was there to talk at that point in time. He was right. there well, to fight. Yeah, him. yeah, and he was telling him like, "I need your eyes, motherfucker." Right. So remember, because he was saying he was going blind from the well, yeah, like, the, you know, shouldn't gun and stuff like not, that. And he's still playing shit. the role at that right. point in time. Yeah. So I actually think this one would actually change things the least, no matter what happens here, because he finds out from Toby after this fight, right? Right. And, or Obito or whatever you want to call him, um, but. uh well, but I think Ot- this is the biggest chance. I think this is the biggest. Yeah, it is the biggest the, chance. This the is immediate his... change, right? right? Considering an immediate change. So the, right. the previous one but, was like more of a long route. Right. For change. But this one he is finds more out of like. So, so quickly afterwards that it's just kind of like this is kind of the same time he finds out anyways. So how much would this have actually changed? Well, let's. Um, let's and let's, and let's, we're assuming. Keep in mind, we're assuming, right? We're assuming that in all these scenarios. That not only is he he's figuring out why and the intentions. Correct. Okay. So okay. So it's yeah. not just hey I did it because Donzo told me, but it's I did no, it because no, no, Donzo no. told it's me and I was trying to protect you and I'll do this and that. Okay. Because then, in the show it came out like, in two different this? parts. And then you right. Would, you would yeah because in the show he found out what happened with, with, uh, with Toby. Toby. And then, and he then found out why with, with the reincarnation. reincarnation. Yeah, yeah, reanimation. Yeah. Right. So. I think you can't just straight up talk to him because at that point in time, he's about that action and he's pissed and he's got power right. at this point in time, or at least he thinks he has power at this point yeah. in time. We totally saw how that fight turn out. <laughs> well, and he fought Itachi and lost. So, uh, yeah. in my opinion, Nigga was just racking he up just L's. Let him go. <laughs> yeah, he, he was at his win. most powerful and racking up all the L's. <laughs> he left all the right. L's. Yeah, fucking yeah. Itachi. Toby, Toby kind of gave him the business a little bit. Uh, yeah. and then uh, fucking Killer B, fucking all of it. He was just racking up the L's. Yeah. So he uh, he has to put him in Sukiyomi, and he did during that fight. But instead of actually letting him fight in the Sukiyomi, he sits him down and says, "Hey, motherfucker, this is what I've been wanting to tell you this whole time. I know you're gonna fight me after this anyway. Uh, take it or leave it. But this yeah, reminds we, we know what we're the- we know what happened, man." If the people are watching this, they should all know what happened. What no, do I don't know. I don't get. I'm telling you my scenario. Oh, okay. My I version. I thought of you were just happened. going over what happened. No, I was like, oh I'm my telling God, I'm going you, to sleep. I'm literally telling you, he's telling him in the Sukiyomi instead of fighting him. So this, you know what? The entire battle. This 100 percent is my bad. I apologize because <laughs> at no Christ. point during this fight did he ever tell him. So right. you would be like, yeah, he sits him down in the Sukiyomi, and I'm like. Dude, what? They, why, they why are you going happened. over? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, that's my bad, guys. What? I fucking spaced out there. I apologize. I, yeah. I am fucking sorry. That's all good. All right, that's my no. It's not all good. No. <laughs> Can you stop apologizing? I said, I'm fucking sorry. All right. <laughs> Better damn. than this. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and let me talk. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, but I'm apologizing. No, go ahead. <laughs> go so ahead. he's in the Sukiyomi telling him, sitting him down, and he knows, and I think he knows, and I think this is how it would play out. I'm going to fight you after this anyway, because I get it. You're probably not going to believe me. But I just wanted you to know before we really put hands on each other. Boom. That ends. They throw hands. They spar. Towards the end, he does the thing. And then that, him doing the touche, is what finally gets, oh, shit, he wasn't lying. And then, boom, he hits See, the ground. So he that, told him. Go ahead. Yeah, well, in that scenario, they do fight anyways. I think... I agree with that. I think they do fight anyways. 
you're saying they don't fight in this scenario that you're that you're talking about. They don't fight because he disagree or he doesn't believe them, right? No, or he he they do fight because he doesn't believe them. If that okay. makes sense, yeah. Be- I think because he's like, I know you're not gonna believe me, right? Yeah. Now. See, I think that fight happens no matter what if he tells right. them there, and I do think that's one option. But the other option is he's mad that he didn't tell him, so he believes him. And he fights him out of the anger for like, not having been told. Why would you tell me told. that now? Yeah, why would why the fuck would you tell me that now? This is not your yeah. fucking piece of shit. Right. You still and did I think what Atashi you did. Knows that. Yeah. Yeah. And so he had to have known that those are both possibilities if he tells him there. Right. And so I almost started talking about it like it already happened again. <laughs> now, the only thing that would change for me is what would happen in the aftermath, right? So with, now with instead Toby of getting the Toby, and... right. Well, and instead of Toby telling him what happened, uh, he now has that in the back of his head. So Toby still tries to tell him, tries to manipulate him okay. and tries to say, Hey, this is what happened. Okay. And then that's when he starts connecting all the dots. Right. So that's when he's like, Oh, Itachi told me about all this. And Toby didn't know that Itachi told him cause he did it in infinite Sukuyomi. Yeah. So Toby still tries to manipulate him. He goes, oh shit! I remember oh. Tachi trying to tell me that. Now, this does was- he still does he still play Obito's game? In, no, in this scenario, I think he think? well, I think he plays the game, but I don't think he's with him like he was. Right, right. The way he was because at this prior. point he still he still wants Donzo to get these hands correct, right, and correct. that's kind of how Toby manipulated him, anyways. Right. So he's still gonna go give Donzo them hands, but after he gives Donzo the hands, he's right back to the hidden leaf. Okay, in which that wasn't the case in the actual in the actual right. show. And so that's prior, the bigger change there. And prior to him getting to Donzo, he was doing some fuck shit, which I don't think he would have done knowing what he knows now. So he that's was fair. like trying to kill Sakura. He was going toe to toe with Kakashi. He was he was doing all these things prior to getting to Donzo. Yeah, I think that I don't think would have took place if he knew if yeah. he had in his mind. I think this was the most likely scenario for him to hear it because they just right. didn't have enough time alone. Uh, the first time Sasuke got him and fought him, he wasn't strong enough to even acknowledge his attention or mm-hmm. get his attention. And now he's strong enough to at least hold his own for a little bit, even though he catches his fucking hands real quick. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's the best situation out of all the situations we talked about or the it most, the most probable. I wouldn't, we there wouldn't say the yeah, best, yeah. but yeah, yeah the most, most probable yeah. situation for it to have been for it to have been said. Um, but with that being said, I personally don't think it changes that much. I just don't I do. think that scenario. So you think he still wants to destroy the hidden but, leaf after that? So here's here's why I like hesitate. I'm hesitant in saying that that changes a lot because the later we get of him finding out, mm-hmm. just sh- on sheer time, the mm-hmm. less is gonna change. You know what I mean? And so, like the later the scenario well, I mean, gets, the the big thing is that he he wanted all out revenge of the hidden leaf. Right, that's a big deal when right. you consider he ultimately got the the that's eternal fair. manga manga cue. So imagine right. having the eternal manga cue on the hidden leaf side versus him running rogue. What's a manga cube? Manga cue. Manga cube. Oh my goodness! I was gonna do that until you fucking stopped. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's. What I was you just do. I was just gonna keep fucking doing it. You do it every time. One hundred percent. Yep. Yep. Every now and then I'll get you in it. Every now and again, you'll get like one extra one. Yep, that's when I get. That's why it's worth it every time. I can tell. Yeah, <laughs> you you me, get worked up over that that me. very one. <laughs> yeah, I get pretty excited about it. But yeah, this like it's so just you hard really because... don't think he's gonna. You think he's still gonna take it out on the hidden leaf, even if he's told at the beginning. Remember, keep in mind we're to- he was told at the beginning of the fight. So if he's told at the beginning. I mean, if he's told at the beginning of the fight, ah, just and he has all that time to think and all that time to fight, all that time to win, kills Itachi. Toby tells him the thing, gives him that extra clue. I think, think there's still... one. I think there's one big flaw in this, and I think this is something that would be worked out differently because when he tells him, or when he finds out the intentions later on during mm-hmm. the reanimation, he finds out like, yeah, you're doing this to protect me. You were doing all this, but you, he wanted, Itachi wanted Sasuke to be the one to kill him and be the hero. So if he's telling him then, I would assume he leaves that part out, right? Because why uh, would you tell him in the, yeah, why would you tell him in the fight? No, you would just ha- tell him, hey, I know you hate me and I know you want to kill me, so we're going to get it on. 
but just know that I told you. So you, so you're saying he it's like tells leaving him, a seed. Okay, so you're saying he tells him, knowing it's not going to process quick enough. Correct. He's going to kill him and not figure it out till after he kills him. 100%. That's what you think happens. Yeah, there's no way I he think, fucking figures. I think out that's in the fair to say. I think I agree with that. Right. Yeah, I think I agree with that because he's in the middle of a rage. He right. thinks he's strong enough now. He's stronger than he was. This is probably the closest he ever gotten to to Tachi's level. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I think you're right. I think I think it would I think it would stay. Okay. Yeah. So I don't I don't know though, man. I still don't. Now there's also the 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 route you can take where it's okay. He doesn't tell him at the beginning. They start fighting, and as they're fighting, he he throws He's in bits. Like, throws yeah, in we're doing bits. this. Yeah, and then it's like the Don. I'm so proud of you. The fight, Ugh. you know, like yeah, like in slow mo. So, you're so strong. He's, he yeah, he, uh, yeah, <laughs> like Donzo was the one who made me do it, and he's like, "What? What do you mean, Donzo? You know what I mean?" Like. In the middle of the fight. I think that would have been the worst way. <laughs> yeah, possible. probably. Yeah. Because it would have made Itachi kind of look like a bitch. Because to the viewer, it would look like he's telling this stuff to him to fuck him up. Because you would think he's yeah. telling him this stuff and it probably yeah, makes him stop. Him at all. Yeah, but it'd fuck him up. He'd be like, he'd be like, what? Pa! Oh, shit, my face. You know what I mean? Like and he all and Itachi was already but, giving him those hands. I think that is literally the worst way but to tell. Again, this would be more of it. him on the defense, right? So he would be telling him as Sasuke. So he's not to throwing. Him. So he's not okay. throwing yeah, back. Right. He's just kind of defending. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I still think it's the worst way humanly possible to. It'd be to, cool for, for an them. animated. You it, know, yeah, it'd just be like a like if for, they just wanted to release a side video of him telling him as they were fighting, right? And it, it had no effect dope. on anything ever. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. But but they I think that in, in the show, in the context of the show, it coming out that way and just tell him after. Yeah. Just tell him after. Like either okay, whoop so this what nigga's you, ass. Yeah. How either would you whoop think his ass and then tell him. So for one, I think if he's telling him afterwards, I think oh. the reason, the motivation, which doesn't really play a factor because the other two are so and early. Before you the go real quick, examples, keep, keep in mind he dies at the very end there. So you have to right. specify how he would tell that's, him towards that's the end. exactly what I'm okay. getting to. I was just making sure. So so yeah, yeah. So the first two, we don't really talk about the intentions of telling him because it happens so early in the process. This one I think intention is key. Because if he tells him afterwards, that means his intention is to stay alive. Which means he's telling him before he loses the fight. Before Sasuke tells him. So the fight ends the fight ending changes. I think if he's telling him afterwards, I think I think you have to have him beat the shit out of Sasuke. And be like, hey, this is what this is what I did. Subdue this is what him. I, why? I, yeah, this is why I did it. I want you to think about that, and because I think maybe in the fight, in this situation, I think in the fight, he would have changed his mind because this is the most time he spent with his brother since he left the village. Right. Right. So maybe in the fight, he has a change of heart because he's fighting his brother. They're they're like going back and forth and he's just proud of his brother for getting stronger on his own and doing all this shit. So now he's like, fuck, I want to live. I enjoy this. I'm going to miss my brother too much. And then he fucks him up mm-hmm. and then tells him. So he knocks him out or knocks him, incapacitates him. him. Yeah, yeah, incapacitates him or subdues him. And then he tells him then like, hey, this is what happened. This is what I did. I originally did this and wanted you to be the hero. I wanted you to kill me and rebuild the tribe. But Turns out I just miss my brother kind of a shit. And I just want to be there for you. And I see all this pain you've went through and all this pain that caused. I realized I should have told you and I should have told you sooner or something like that. You know what I mean? But I think if he tells him right after, I think that whole situation changes. And I think that could change a lot. That could change a lot because then it's more of a team. Right. Right. Where now it's like, all right, we can work. Yeah, because Itachi, Itachi can't go back to the leaf. Right. But now Itachi, like now the storyline becomes Itachi and Sasuke are secretly investigating and they want to give Donzo the fucking hands. Right. And if Itachi's involved and in fucking training Sasuke, I would assume if this happened like this. Yeah. But then, oh, but, but then, then Steve, uh, but, but then you but, still have the Akatsuki to deal with. R- right. Yeah. Because Itachi's Akatsuki. still a member of the Akatsuki. Right. You see Toby sees all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then yeah. also Itachi's about to go blind by this point in time. You remember? Is that is that true though? Yeah, it was. Do we know it to be true? Yeah, he was. I don't remember. He was he was already going blind, like in the middle okay. of the fight. 
All right. So, I didn't remember. I remember I remember that being said, but I didn't remember right. if that was actually a true thing. Right. Or he just said that to say, I'm going to take your eyes, which means I need to kill you, which means you have to kill me. You know He's what I mean? He's actually going blind. Yeah. And it, right. it, it does suck because that was cool that it would change so much more if he subdues yeah. him at the end versus if he told him at the beginning. Because if he told him at the beginning, ain't no, ain't no fucking, he's no, probably going to end up dying. Yeah. Whereas if he subdued him and then told him, he necessarily it's wouldn't because... die, but he's borderline dead already because of his blindness. Right. You know, right. so um, that's the only unfortunate part. So if we did imagine a world where he wasn't going blind, that's the only thing that wasn't happening. Maybe he's still sick, but he can get right. healed. If he wasn't going blind, that scenario would be fucking sick because you're right. It would change. Yeah, a whole lot. Yeah, I forgot about the sickness it, part. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think I think that's the only way. If they were to do it that way, it would have to be that would have to be the intention behind it. It would have to be after that. You know what I mean? It'd be dope. Like, like that'd be really fucking cool. But uh, ultimately, you know, he finds out right after from Toby. Right. So right. that that ended up happening anyways. Yeah, but, I think the mo- most realistic out of all three, whether it be beginning during or after would be the beginning just because he's so fucked up already yeah. that he knows and then he already knows he's so yeah. mad that no matter I would what agree he with says that. yeah i would agree that, his ass, that then, if yeah. you're trying to not change a ton in the show but you're trying to make an impact and change when that happens i do think out of all these scenarios telling him before they fight each other is yeah. probably the most likely situation out of all of these because it would be super dope to see how he reacts to when Obito tells him yeah. what happens. I think that would be so sick. So that way he has the prior knowledge from Itachi. And then Obito tries to manipulate him still. But yeah. he already knows. And he might connect all the fucking dots during that convo and go, oh shit, I need to play this smart. Or he might be like, fuck Itachi. I'm doing what I'm yeah. Might stay exactly the same. Yeah, that's an interesting one. All right, what's yeah. the last scenario? So, last scenario is the re. Oh, I'm struggling. The re uh, animation area, Little right? Boy. Little bitch boy. Right, where Itachi is reanimated and he already heard what he heard from Obito. So, he's been successfully manipulated. Yeah, yeah but- so he knows it's. So, he, he knows about. The meetings and stuff like that, but he doesn't he knows everything fully, except he doesn't for fully why. understand the intentions, right? Right. So he's running to Itachi to get the intentions, and what me and you decided was, let's imagine a world where Toby didn't tell him, yeah, or Obito didn't tell him, yeah, yeah. So this exactly is prefaced, happened. yeah. So this is prefaced by he's he hasn't been told anything at this point, anything. So he's so hearing everything the same, except. Obito has not told him anything. Right. And so he only finds out about this after that. So none of the stuff of Obito telling him happens. Right. So right. hypothetically. That's the only way this far we could go with and make right, this Right, because that's when he told him, right? That's when he told him what his intentions were. That's when he had already so the only yep. So the only thing we'd be able to change is him not hearing it from Obito. Right. Um, yeah. So if that happened. I think he's too deep. I think it's the I'm in too deep <laughs> kind of thing. I'm in too deep. Yeah. <laughs> like And this is this is funny it's a funny one too because it because it was a reanimation jutsu, we can't actually say, Oh, what have you told him before? Like he no. couldn't. He was this nigga was no, he's, dead. He's in the reanimation. And he's in the reanimation. He's awake and alive. And then he helps he ends up helping him fight what's his face. And uh, yeah, uh Kabuto. Kabuto. Uh yeah. But yeah, so he at this point though, Sasuke's willing to talk. <laughs> at this point, you would think he, yeah. he was he was in the show. He was willing to talk. He so I'm sure he'd be like, "Yo, why the fuck did everything?" As he's following him toward the Kabuto, and then maybe he yeah. puts him in a quick another quick Sukuyomi. So, I keep going yeah. back to that. And then yeah, so here it here's a, here's a good question on this one. I just thought of right now. All right, so let's say because like it's, like we say uh, we're not we're assuming Toby didn't tell him right. Do you think at this point, because at this point, Sasuke is a lot older. He's experienced a lot more things. Do you think at this point he might be on to that already? If he had never been told anything yet? No, I don't think he'd know anything. And I don't even think he would have gone after Donzo. 
Wow, interesting. So Donzo would still be alive. <laughs> fucking Donzo. If Obito didn't tell him that, Donzo would still be fucking alive. That's Isn't that true. wild? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's an evil motherfucker. Man. Now, that changes the story dramatically. Yeah. Yeah, this one would definitely... Just, definitely just change Obito fucking not telling so him much. that yeah. would change everything. Yeah. Or man, not necessarily fucking... everything, but it would yeah, change a lot. I just, you know, it's like it would change a lot. Uh, because it would change the most. It would change is the what happened between, um, what's this between the fight with Itachi and that, which is essentially the start of the fourth Ninja War. Mm. You know what I mean? Because essentially, Toby, uh, Toby fucked with him or manipulated Sasuke, so that way Sasuke could do all that shit. So then you Sasuke doesn't fight Killer B. He doesn't he doesn't fucking kill Donzo. Uh does Toby wait to start the war? Because Toby, the whole reason they started that war is to get Killer B and uh Naruto's tailed beast, the Jin yeah. Fuck, I can't uh. say that word. Uh but like he doesn't if 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 Sasuke isn't running around starting causing chaos, mm -hmm. Toby Capture doesn't start beast. the war, does he? Do you think? I don't know how he could, because Pain's dead by that point in time. Right. Naruto did that. So he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't start the war. No, I think it prolongs the series for another 500 Fucking, episodes, just like one yeah. piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, a, that's an interesting one to think about, because if, if Obito doesn't tell him, Sasuke was kind of the catalyst for the war. The real question is, what the fuck does Donzo do? If he doesn't have Sasuke after him, how much does Donzo change the storyline? I don't know. I that honestly... nigga's rolling around with a fucking Hashirama arm. Well, the the reason I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> fair enough. The reason I don't know is because that motherfucker is always scheming. Right. He's always up to something. You have so, no idea what so he would. You have no, that, that's why. It's not an I don't know because I don't think anything would change. No it's one a, knows. I don't know because <laughs> literally everything could change. Yeah, everything Because that could motherfucker change. is evil and he's a schemer. He's a problem. Yeah. So it's like, what, what the fuck changes? Right. And I think the, the only fucking, thing that changes is Sasuke's on the leaf side, right? Yeah. If, if he figures it out and he actually believes him. Because that ends up happening at the end anyways. Is he ends up? Remember, he came yeah. back. He said he wanted to be fucking Hokage, fucking dumbass, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Like, <laughs> the dumbest fuck? shit I've ever. Yeah, I, I like, remember yeah, being like twelve, seeing yeah. that. And he's like, he's like, yeah, I can't. Why'd you come back? Why are you fighting for the leave? Because I'm gonna be Hokage and change the way people are treated. And they all laughed and lost their fucking minds. I was like, what a fucking stupid ass thing to think and say, you right. dumb motherfucker. Yeah. No, that was. You're not that young. Like, yeah. what are we doing here, Sasuke? What are we fucking doing? Has he ruined it completely by then? Yes. By the time he was told in reanimation, who who did did he really hurt anybody by then? Ooh. I can't really remember. I can't either. I know after I he Yeah, I can't really remember. But um it's still not gonna be it still wouldn't be reasonable. No, it's I mean, yeah, it's, not, ninja, realistic. yeah, it's not realistic. Yeah, it's not realistic. It is what it is there, but I think that's like the the like most pointless point in regards yeah. to mm -hmm. all the scenarios we've had. Because I agree. or not not the most pointless. Pointless is probably but, the young young Sasuke. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, we we're both just like, nope, keep yeah, it moving. This is fucking stupid. Nigga's way too young. Yeah, way too <laughs> yeah. young. But that yeah. one is like it's way too late. You know what I mean? Uh huh. And it, but at the same time, it would change a lot. It would change a lot. Just way too late. It wouldn't it's make just sense. Just way too late. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So what do you think to to round it out? Because we're about to hit that hour. Yeah. Uh, to round it out, what do you think was the best time to do it? And do you think that this that they worked it out in the best way possible? After having the debate. If I mean, so I, coming into I, this, I might do a I zoom thought, in on your face when you had the idea. Right now you're like. <laughs> Coming into the thought, or to the thought, Coming. to the to the uh, video, I thought the fight between them two was going to be the best. Now I think it's such a high upside to tell him during the tuning exam area 
obviously it was right after it. I think that is the best spot for this to change a lot. And I, I think it would change the show agreement. for the better. I actually had the came in with the same thought. The best time to tell him was during the fight because that was your most time FaceTime with him. Right. But after talking, the Plant best time seed. would have been would have been right after the tuning exams yeah. where where fucking Sasuke caught those hands. Right. And that would so, cha- shape so much and it would make the show so cool because yeah. now there's a new dynamic. 100%. Now, and to the other part of the question where it's like would uh did they tell him at the best time? I was thinking about it and I know I told you like that's something to think about and honestly, that was a stupid thing for me to say because they essentially wrote the whole show around him finding out then. Right. So that was a dumb fucking point to make. I apologize, sir. I'm right. sorry. No, yeah. no, I'm fucking sorry. All right? I fucking Dude. apologize. <laughs> is, that the, is that the sixth time? Jesus. I think I think it's the third. I think he doubled up on me, but yeah, we'll go with six. <laughs> we'll go with six. <laughs> yeah, but like they, they wrote the whole show around it. It was a dumb thing to think of. Me right. personally, after after hearing this, I've switched. I'm I like, do yeah, think... I've switched to the Chuni the right after the Chuni exams when they when they fuck up. Right. I do think they made it a point. The writer made it a point to say that Itachi fucked up. Like Itachi thought within the yeah. show that he should have done it earlier. Doesn't doesn't say what time specifically, but I do know right. at the reanimation part where he does finally tell me he's like, yeah. Dude, maybe I should have told you earlier. Yeah, because he he um, thought he didn't think Sasuke was gonna go that route. He didn't exactly. realize he didn't realize that, and so they did they did make a point to do that, which is an interesting way to that's to go what about it. This right, yeah, that's what it's an interesting way to go debate. about it. In all honesty, it's really cool that he did that actually, because that would be true if if you know I did something like that, and then you know when the when is the right up. time? Yeah, when's right. the right time? Realistically, like. Even though we're trying to pick the best case scenario, none of it's a right time to tell somebody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's at no point can is is there a good is time okay to tell somebody to tell them, I'm that kill I everyone in our that clan, I massacred a clan. <laughs> yeah, I massacred the Uchiha clan to save you. At no point in their life is there a good <laughs> time. It's like, hey, can you pass the potatoes? Oh, by the way, right. <laughs> I murdered the Uchiha clan for and, you and your mom and our mom and dad. Yep. Like, there's no good time. So, yeah. I guess that's kind of where we got to end it. Yeah. 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 I, I right. think that was a fucking fun ass debate. I mean, it, yeah, it's, I enjoyed a, it. it's a cool little little theory. I've been holding on to that for a while now. So, it's finally yeah. good to release it. Yep. But, uh, yeah, guys, we appreciate it. I think we're up to what, 380? Three, yep, 380, somewhere around there. Five, somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Yeah. We appreciate every oh, single one of you motherfuckers. Holy shit. We're growing yeah, you guys are little by little. Commenting. We love you guys. All that shit. We appreciate every single one of you guys. Yes. Please make sure, you, as always, you like, subscribe, comment below. Yes. Hit the notification bell. Yes. Ding! Ding! And I will have our ramen guy versus cabbage guy video in the link below. Yes, sir. So check that out. Um, it doesn't really have a lot to do with the storylines and stuff, but it's just a funny little, little versus battle. Yeah, absolutely. But all right, guys. Comedy Hashira. Blackie Chan. We out. We out.